Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the Matex Sys ELRS R24D Crossfire Receiver or ELRS Receiver. Works on the Crossfire Protocol um, and you can get the R24D and the R24S receivers. This is the D with uh, dual antennas, diversity antennas and the S version has the little spiral onboard antenna. So it's a neat little board, not as tiny as uh, some of the other ELRS receivers that I've tried, uh, and which is a good thing. It's a lot easier to handle a board this size. It's a single layer board, so you've got a clear back to mount uh, double-sided tape it onto. So here's where we need to solder it up. You solder it up uh, to your flight control board, a spare UART, uh, and we have R, T, 5 volts and ground. Uh, the input voltage can be 4 to 9 volts, according to the manual and you connect the T or the transmit to R or receive on your flight control board and you connect R or receive to T or transmit on the flight control board UART. So let's have a quick look at the Maytech website. As always, go to the Maytech website. It has all the information about firmware, tips about connection and binding and all that good stuff. Maytech website is uh, one of the best information websites around for this sort of um, product information. Just for those who don't know, ELRS is a, a long range or um, very solid control connection protocol. It permits ranges in the tens of kilometres. That's not something I'm ever going to show on my channel. I just can't do that without getting into trouble. So uh, just believe me that uh, you get incredible range. Heading over to the Matec website, uh, you can see we have information for the R24D and the R24S. There's the S with a little spiral antenna, but we're looking at the D with the diversity antennas. Two connections there, sleeve dipoles, IPEX connections, receiver protocol with ELRS is Crossfire, CRSF. Input voltage 4 to 9 volts on that 5 volt pad, so you just connect it to the 4.5 volt pad on your flight control board. Size is 21 by 15 millimetres, weight 3 grams with the antennas. And there's different firmware for version 2 of ELRS and version 3. Now I decided to upgrade mine to 3 just to see what it's like. Express LRS 3 introduces 16 full resolution channels compared to the 4, four full resolution and uh, what is it? Uh, I think it's 8, 7 or 8 uh, partial resolution channels. Bit of information here, any ELRS 2.4 receivers can work with any ELRS 2.4 transmitter modules. And binding, now this is where I came up against a, a roadblock, I've solved it now, but uh, the I'm using my Radio Master Zorro ELRS, which didn't have the same binding phrase, or doesn't have a, a binding phrase, whereas this Matec receiver came uh, with a, a binding phrase uh, preloaded. So that meant I had to reflash the receiver and uh, the transmitter to get them to talk to each other. Uh, and well, it's about time I learned to do that. So I did do that using Wi-Fi, uh, flashing over Wi-Fi, uh, which eventually worked okay once I uh, upgraded to ELRS 3. So for traditional binding, when you don't have a binding phrase preloaded, uh, you power on and off the receiver three times and it, and it gives a double flash sequence to the LED. Then you use the uh, Lua script on the transmitter uh, to bind to the receiver. When you do have a binding phrase in the firmware uh, and it matches the transmitter, there's no need to bind. They just are automatically connected. And on the downloads page, we actually have a 3D step file of the of the uh, receiver which looks pretty good if you want to have a look at it in a in a uh, 3d program like uh, fusion 360 here's the flashing tool that's an xe i'm on a mac so that is no use to me and here are a few uh, pre-compiled uh, firmware versions uh, version 2 no phrase i could have used that for my transmitter probably okay so we've connected it all up on my uh, mini talon here uh, i haven't turned the transmitter on uh, i'm just going to show you what happens and when it goes into Wi-Fi mode, if you power it up uh, and your transmitter isn't turned on after about a minute, that will go into Wi-Fi mode and it'll start flashing quickly, hopefully, sometime soon. There we go. We're in Wi-Fi mode now. See that fast flashing? 
So now we can go over to Express LRS and pick up the Wi-Fi network that the transmitter that the receiver is um, transmitting. Uh, choose which version you want. I was trying to do it on 2.2 and uh, I just kept getting a, a build fail error and I didn't know what to do. So someone suggested try three, I tried three and it, it actually worked. So here, device category, choose your device, choose the flashing method. Uh, I haven't looked at beta flight pass through or UART yet, but uh, Wi-Fi worked really well for me. Choose your regulatory domain. Binding phrase, uh, may take ones come with preloaded binding phrase of one, two, three, four, five, six. This is where you tell it that you want the Wi-Fi to come on after 60 seconds if there's no connection. Your home, you can include your home Wi-Fi network and it will work on your um, home network rather than the, the one generated by the receiver if you want. Uh, this is the one generated by the receiver and then you just click build and flash and it will build that firmware and uh, flash it to the receiver just as it is uh, on Wi-Fi mode. And we also had to do that for the transmitter as well. Uh, it's the same setup. You go to the transmitter, go to the Lua script, turn on Wi-Fi, choose your radio, choose your device, Zorro, choose Wi-Fi, download the Lua Wi-Fi script and load it onto your card. This is the new Express LRS3 your Lua script, choose your uh, parameters there and again build and flash and it will flash it over the Wi-Fi, this Wi-Fi network to your transmitter and all should be good. So I'll show you how it looks in INAV just to show it's all connected. Uh, so what have we got? Now that I've turned the radio on we have a solid light on the receiver showing it's connected. Have INAV open, let's connect and let's go to receiver so we have to choose crossfire protocol here and things are wiggling so yeah that's connected properly uh, these two can be off serial port inverted can be off serial receiver duplex is off or auto works as well but that's basically ready to go so there we have the matec r24d receiver with diversity antennas all connected up to my mini talon uh, so that's all connected up flashed with express lrs3 and ready to fly thanks for watching uh.